Oh my goodness, guys. We are back for the last day of the Dopey Challenge. So right now it's about 3.30 in the morning and um, I ate breakfast, ate a little bit of cereal, got my contacts in, got my water all set up, got my fuel, my Honey Stinger waffles over there, um, chapstick, got my earphones all charged up because this is gonna be a long one pending. My daughter doesn't do what she did yesterday. So yesterday she woke up at 5.45 when I started running at five o'clock. So that was fun. Um, I didn't get very far at all before she woke up. And then I had to give her my eye or her iPad and all kinds of stuff. And then eventually my mom was able to take over. And I did do 12 miles yesterday. It was a very, very slow pace, but I did it. And today is gonna be a very, very slow pace as well. I am not sure how this is gonna go. Um, up until yesterday, the longest distance I had done on that treadmill was about 10 miles. I did 12 yesterday. Um, and today is supposed to be 20 or like four or five hours, which is pretty much gonna be the same thing with the pace that I'm gonna take this at. It's pretty much probably gonna be the same thing come five hours. Um, I'm just trying to like stretch my back and everything. I don't really hurt at all except for my lower neck, which always hurts because, well, I've got neck problems. <laughs> and then right here, the inside, not the outside of my knees, but the inside of my knees, but also like the back, this muscle or tendon, whatever it is, is starting to hurt and lock up a little bit. So I don't know if that's gonna cause problems. I might have to stop and stretch quite a bit. Um, I was kind of like um, army marching, like high stepping for a little bit yesterday. And I kind of like swing my legs back and forth and up. And then I would use the handlebars, um, put my legs up on the handlebars, like my knees up on the handlebars like this, or even this way and um, do some stretches for that. Cause that's definitely starting to lock up. I am fine at a really, really slow pace. It's like the 14 minutes and up pace is where it starts to like lock up. So I have to be careful. Obviously don't want to injure myself. That's what this is for to see what we still need to do to improve, how far we can make it. Um, but yeah, so this is Dopey Challenge Simulation Week, day four. I'm really tired. 3 a.m. came way too early with three kids who would not go to bed last night, so. Wish me luck. I again did not fill up my hydration vest for this. I probably should have, but I did fill up this bad boy with um, noon. So this has noon with leaking. This has noon with caffeine in it. So gonna need that caffeine. And then, like I said before, I've got honey stinger waffles. I think I have four or five of them. I have five. I went through two yesterday on the, um, half marathon portion of this. So <sighs> we're going to see how this goes so far. Look at this distance this week, 21 miles, four hours and 40 minutes, 44 minutes on the treadmill, 2009 calories burned. Oh my, that's a lot. And pretty much what you see on there is what I'm doing all today. Wow, this lighting makes my face look like really bad. Anyway, that's what we're doing all day today. So, but it's going to take me more than four hours and 44 minutes to get 20 miles. It really is because I'm going to go slow today. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm a whole one mile in. Slow and steady wins the race. Um except the fact that like, I don't want to be doing this already. One mile in and I'm like, eh, no, I don't like this idea. So anyway, here we go. More miles to come. Mile two. We're still under a 14 minute, I don't know if we get in close for you guys there. Ooh, there it is. We're just under a 14 minute pace. I'm not happy about it, but I mean, I'd like to be going faster 
but I'm not happy about it because most likely I'd really like to just be going slower. Um, but if I walk slower, it's actually really uncomfortable. So this is a good speed walk for me. Not even speed walk. This is just like a good walking pace for me. But really, I just want to be like tiptoeing along. Like really, really slow. That would be really nice right now. All right, guys, mile three. Slow and steady, we're going, and it hurts. We're only on mile three. Not even an hour yet, so long to go. Mile four, still a little over a 14 minute per mile pace, but we're going, we're going. Mile five. Mile six, we're almost an hour and a half in, so yeah, nice and slow, still going. We're about almost at 14 and a half. I run a little bit, I walk a little bit, but that's where we're at. Mile seven, I did finish my TV show, so we've started watching Wednesday on Netflix. Kids are still looking good. I don't even know what time it is, 5 a.m. now probably. Okay, it's 5 5.20, 5.20 a.m. So, yeah, an hour and 42 minutes in. We are almost up to mile number eight, four minute and 30 second pace. And I'm gonna take a potty break at mile eight. The kids were stirring a little bit, but I'm hoping it was just kind of moving around because if I stop now at mile eight, that's gonna be really, really sad. I wanna keep going. I wanna hit at least 12 more miles or two more hours, minimum two more hours, but I'd like to hit 12 more miles on top of this if I can, so. Yeah, all right, mile eight, just about there. Mile nine is done, we ran some of that. Had a decent pace, so we're now under 14 and a half minutes per mile. Gotta speed it up a little bit, otherwise I'm not gonna get this done but we'll see how much time we have. Kids are still asleep for now. I don't know. Right now it looks like maybe I'm gonna get to like 16 or 18 before the kids wake up, but we're gonna keep trying. Okay guys, um, we are on mile 10. My right knee is not feeling super great, so I keep stopping to stretch. Um, 14, 14 minutes, 16 second pace per mile. So yeah, there we are. So the good thing is, is that at least if I maintain, I mean, it's a slow pace right now. Let's start this guy back up. Even if I maintain that really slow pace that I'm doing of 15 minute, maybe I'll slow it down to 16 minutes for a little bit. Um, even if I keep that pace, I'd probably be okay for the full. Now the thing is too is that this is boring. Oh, this is really boring. Um, you know, just walking on a treadmill. It's the same thing over and over again. And while yes, I am binge watching stuff on Netflix, it's not like I'm sitting on my sofa chilling with a bowl of popcorn. And it is more comfortable for me to run than walk at the slower pace. But at the same time, I don't have the stamina to continue doing that for a really long time. So, um, but if I can maintain the pace that I'm going now, or not even maintain it, if I can do the pace that I've done so far, at the actual dopey challenge and especially if I'm earlier in the corral get myself an earlier bubble I can basically just log roll my way to the end I mean I know I'm only 10 miles in right now so there's obviously 16 miles still to go for a full marathon but like I was saying this is boring just sitting here watching Netflix um, when you're in the park there's things to do you can talk to people you get your pictures taken, I'll be vlogging the whole thing, and it's not as mundane 
which makes this so much harder. And it is a mental battle. I mean, this is a mental battle to keep going when you've been doing this for two and a half hours and you're halfway done. <laughs> so um, it's definitely a mental battle and I know it's gonna be so much easier as long as the weather is good. Like, you know, obviously if it's freezing or raining or extreme heat, that's gonna put a damper on things. But in typical Florida winter weather, it's going to be much better than sitting in this hot room with a fan behind me and a fan in front of me, trying to stay cool at 3 a.m. Also, I won't be starting at 3 a.m. there. I mean, I might be waking up pretty early, but won't be starting. There's a lot more adrenaline than this, so this is tough, but gotta keep going. I'm walking a little bit slower due to my hip. It's kind of giving it a little bit of a break. See if it can recover a little bit and go from there. So I am gonna take this last little lap ring here um, of the 12th mile really, really slow. And then I'm gonna reset the machine. I don't know if this shuts off after so much time, but I know whenever I used one at the gym, it did shut off. So I'm going to restart it just in case like at three hours or something, if it cuts you off and it's like, now nah, you're done. Um, I don't know if it does that, but I'm probably going to restart it. I don't know, maybe I'll try to get to like, we'll see, maybe it'll stop at three hours. Maybe I can restart it at like 15 miles or something like that, we'll see. But I'm gonna eventually try to restart this just in case, cause I don't want it to shut off midway and then me not have like any of my times or anything be accurate so we're gonna see what happens just about on mile 12 kids are still asleep I'd like to get another eight miles in and we're gonna see if we've got enough time for that today so it did time out on me at three hours exactly I had a feeling it was going to so I'm going to do the 0.6 and then take a picture and then restart because if I have to do this 0.6 thing, it's gonna make my OCD wild. I'm gonna have to have this be even. So I'm gonna do 0.6, that'll get us to mile 13. And then at the end, I'll add up everything at the end. Here's that extra 6.2 to make it to 13 miles even. And one kiddo is awake. I don't know about the others, let's see. I think the others are still in bed but my mom is up now so she'll be able to get Evie if needed. All right so we are a little over half a mile into mile 14. I am probably gonna stop at mile um, 15 or 16 because my mom has to go to work and she's really the only out for the kids. So um, I'm gonna have to go upstairs and then I'll have to get Danny up to um, hang out with his children for the last four or five miles, basically. So he just works really, really late into the night. So I'm gonna get him up as late as possible so he can sleep because then he'll be up really super late again tonight. So I don't wanna have to wake him up too early. So anyway, my mom will be here for a little bit longer and I think I can probably get to two miles, maybe three miles on this new rotation um, until she leaves. So there's that, taking it slow still. All right guys, so here we are. This is mile 14, headed into mile 15. It hurts, but we're living. We are over halfway of a full marathon now. So technically speaking, it would all be downhill from here. But really, it's not feeling great. So is it really downhill or is it really just uphill until you get your medal and then you're done? Because yeah, I think the treadmill is not helping though. This is rough. All right, guys, so there is Mile 15, I still managed to keep it under a 15 minute pace, just barely. My hip 
parts. We are going to take a potty break, a stretch break, and I do need to call the pediatrician for Everly. Her cough is really still super nasty. She has asthma, we're on an inhaler and a nebulizer normally, but it's not getting any better after the flu, so I wanna take her in to be seen. So I'm gonna call her pediatrician and then we'll be back at it. I gotta switch around. My mom's getting ready to go to work, so I gotta switch around from mom to Danny so that the kids have somebody and she probably is ready to get up and eat breakfast. So gotta switch that around and I'll be right back. All right guys, we are back from the break. Took a bathroom break, took a child care switch break and called the pediatrician real quick. Um, so we gotta be done soon enough that I can take a shower, get the kids a bath and then Everly is gonna go in. Um, we have some family members with croup we don't know if that's what she has. It's kind of sounding like it though. So we're gonna be taking her in later today, but we have five miles to finish. So here we go. I don't think I recorded for a little bit. So we're two and a half miles done of the final five miles since coming back. So almost there. Um, my hip all of a sudden just kind of started feeling better for a little bit. Like it's still sore, but it's not like this intense, sharp pain like it was. So. I guess that's a good thing, but here is to the last two and a half miles. We're on the final mile. Yay. I'm so excited to be done and get on with my day. This has not been fun, guys. On the treadmill, not at all. Still going really slow, but that's what happens because this treadmill while it's a really nice treadmill, it's a pain in the butt to spend this much time on. All right guys, five miles is a very slow pace, but we did it. Oh.